Hello everyone, so I am coming to you today from Christmas Day. I've just finished eating Christmas lunch and I'm absolutely full of pavlova, so I'm ready to show you my empties. So I've been filming the empties for a bit over a month, I think, so I think it's time to finish out the year with just another quick empties. But because I am so full, I'm just going to jump straight into it. I'm not going to separate anything out. I'm sorry if you don't like the jumbled mess, but it is Christmas. The first thing on the pile is the Gillette Satin Care Sensitive Skin Shave Gel with Aloe Vera. This is the first time I have ever purchased shave gel and um, I think it was okay. I don't think it really improved the like cut of my shave or anything like that so I probably wouldn't shell out the $8 to get it again. I have two packs of the Swisper AD makeup pads. Uh, I purchase these all the time for toner and makeup remover. This is the Ren Flash Rinse 1 Minute Facial with Water Activated Vitamin C. It's basically a vitamin C mask. I purchased this for Christmas last year, so it's lasted me quite a while. And I liked it, but I don't think it's that amazing. And I'd rather use a vitamin C serum than a mask, so I probably won't buy that again. This is the La Roche Posay Effaclar Eau Micellar, so purifying micellar water for oily or sensitive skin. This was really pretty bad. It didn't remove all that much at all and I would not recommend, I would not repurchase. These are the Pharmacy Care hand wipes in the scent Kiwi and Cucumber. I use these to clean my hands while I'm doing my makeup. They're absolutely fine, probably would repurchase because they're really cheap. This is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. I spent all year trying to finish this bad boy up. It is absolutely enormous and you only need a very little amount to use. I really love it though. It smells amazing. It leaves my skin feeling really nice and at one day I probably will repurchase it but maybe not the giant size, probably the smaller one. Another product, it took me so long to finish. This is the Bondi Sand Self Tanning Lotion in Light Medium. I bought this I think two summers ago and I finally finished it this summer. I self tan maybe once a month. <laughs> if that, probably not even that often. So there's no reason for me to own this ever again. This is a product I haven't finished but I'm throwing away. It is the Akin Rose Demai Antioxidant Facial Day Cream for Normal and Combination Skin. It frankly just doesn't apply enough moisture for me. After applying it in the morning, my skin feels really tight as though there's like a seal on it and I don't like that feeling at all and this doesn't alleviate it. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Another cream is the Johnson's Face Care Night Daily Essentials Rehydrating Night Cream for normal skin. This was fine, but it's basically just a paraffin oil based uh, cream, so I probably wouldn't repurchase it. This I finished today. This is the La Roche Posay Uvita XL Melt In Cream SPF. 50 plus. I was using this under my makeup every single day. I recommend everyone use a facial sunscreen and this one was a really good one. This is from a Project Pan. This is the Body Shop Vineyard Peach Body Mist. Vineyard Peach is my favorite scent from the Body Shop and I purchase a lot of products every time they come out with it but I probably wouldn't buy this again because I just don't really need more fragrances and I'd rather get their body care products. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I use this as a setting spray slash kind of to help my skin look a little bit dewier when I finish my makeup. I absolutely love it and have already repurchased it. This is the L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black or Blackest Black? Intense Black. Uh, I've been using this since I think like April or May and it's finally just gotten really really dry when I use it. It still has plenty if I just wipe it onto my hand but on my eyelids it is way too dry and just tugs so throwing that one away. I have already repurchased this and opened up a new one this morning. This is the Sephora Luminizing Booster Vitamin C Drops. I was using this as a like mixer in with my daytime moisturizer. And while I do like adding vitamin C to my skincare routine, uh, this little like dropper format where I open it every single day really degrades the product over a period of time. So I probably wouldn't buy this one again. We've got the Sukin Antioxidant Eye Serum. This was fine. I just don't really think Sukin products are all that great generally. So I probably wouldn't buy that again even though it's an enormous eye cream. It's 30 mils and it lasts me ages. Here's a little baby of the QV Face Gentle Cleanser. This is a really simple, easy cleanser, but I think it smells like Play-Doh, so I wouldn't purchase that. 
This is my Avene Hydrants Optimal Leg Grey Light Hydrating Cream. This is a simple day moisturizer, I guess. But the second ingredient, I think, is paraffin oil. So I probably won't purchase this again. This is the Dr. Jart Beauty Balm Disapore. I did actually really like this because it does smooth out my skin really nicely. And it's got a more of a moussey consistency than the other BB creams from this range. But the color was pretty off. And they don't come in different shades. So probably won't purchase that one either. I finished up this baby of the Ego Sunsense Daily Face Invisible Tint Finish and I'm throwing away this more um, travel size because it's expired. Uh, it's a perfectly fine tinted sunscreen. It's got a very light tint to it which suits even me and uh, it's absolutely fine but these ones have expired. This is the Moogoo Fresh Cream Deodorant and it appears to be covered in some sort of goop. This is a natural aluminum free deodorant, not an antiperspirant. It uses milk as a base I think um, and it, it's actually probably the best natural deodorant I've ever used but in the summertime I do prefer to use antiperspirants. I've got two face masks. This one was from the face shop. It was the Shea Butter face mask. Pretty sure I got that as a free gift and it was nice. And this one is the Shining Nature Purity Animal Koala Hydrating Sheet Mask. It has a koala face on it. Also liked that one. Um, would probably repurchase either of them. I buy sheet masks pretty regularly. I have two products from Lush. This bag has gotten a little bit gross, but it had the Big Bang Bubble Bar in it, which smelt like lemon myrtle, and that appears to be it. It was really nice. It was a blue bath bomb. And then this was the Granny Takes a Dip, which uh, smells like ginger and pepper, lemon, uh, some different spices, things like that. Not the biggest fan of this one, probably wouldn't buy that again. We've got the Maybelline Pump It Up Colossal, no, Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Didn't really like this at all, didn't really think it did a whole lot. Also, the brush is pretty massive. Um, and not in a good way. I've got quite a few minis here. We'll start with the ones from Avene. This is the anti rugers Dermo Cleansing Milk with Redness Relief. This one was fine, but I don't need Redness Relief. This is the Extremely Gentle Cleansing Lotion. It is extremely gentle. I kind of think it doesn't do anything, so I wouldn't purchase that. And this is the Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. It's like an eye makeup remover jelly, and I kind of didn't really like that consistency, so wouldn't buy that one. And then these are both from Josie Marin. This is the Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. This one was absolutely fine, but I think it's too gold for my skin, so I wouldn't buy it again. And this is the 100% Pure Argan Oil. Also fine, but I'm pretty sure it does actually contain other ingredients besides argan oil. So um, maybe I'd buy that, but probably not. I also have heaps of perfume samples. The one that's not from Commodity is the uh, Diptyque Philosicus, which I think is their fig fragrance. It was fine. I didn't love it though and definitely wouldn't pay the money for that one. The rest of these are from Commodity and I got them in the Commodity cocktail kind of mixer set. So I got Rain, Book, Gold, Gin, Tea, Wool, Whiskey, Magnolia, Mimosa, and Moss. And I used all of them up. My preferences were almost always for the white fragrances, not the black ones, which suits me absolutely to a T. And I probably wouldn't buy any of them because none of them really blew me away. And I'm not a huge fan of mixing fragrances, so probably wouldn't buy any of those. And finally, my foil samples. These are the Alterna Hair Care Caviar Repair Instant Recovery Shampoo and Conditioner. Wouldn't buy that. I have about 100 samples of Bio Oil. I have bought that in the past, but I would not buy that again. I have the Beauty Blender Liquid Cleanser. Actually thought that was pretty good. Would be interested in trying a full size. And the Dermis Ointment. This is actually pretty good, um, though it takes a really long time to sink into the skin. So probably wouldn't buy it, but I do have another sample. So there you go. Those are all of the products that I have finished or I'm throwing away since my last empties video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a really great holiday season. I'll probably see you later this year, if not in the new year. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.